Grace Dalrymple Elliot C. 1754 May 1823 was a Scottish courtesan, writer and spy who resided in Paris at the time of the French Revolution. Elliot was an eyewitness to events which she detailed in her memoirs, Journal of My Life During the French Revolution published posthumously in 1859. She was the mistress of the Duke of Orléans, and the future George IV, by whom she is said to have borne an illegitimate daughter. Elliot trafficked correspondence and hid French aristocrats escaping from the French Revolution. She was arrested several times but managed to avoid the guillotine, and was released after the death of Robespierre. Early life Elliot was born probably in Edinburgh about 1754, the youngest daughter of Grizzle Craw d. C. and Hugh Dalrymple d. an Edinburgh advocate concerned in the Great Douglas case. Her parents separated around the time of her birth, and she was most likely brought up at her grandparents' house. She was educated in a French convent, and on her return to Scotland, was introduced by her father into Edinburgh society. Her beauty made such an impression on John Eliot, a prominent and wealthy physician, that he made her an offer of marriage in 1771. She accepted, although Eliot was some twenty years her senior. They were married on 19 October 1771 in London. The couple entered fashionable society, but eventually grew apart due to their difference in age and interests. In 1774 Eliot met and fell in love with Lord Valentia, with whom she entered into an affair. Convinced of his wife's infidelity, John Eliot had the couple followed and eventually sued Valentia for criminal conversation adultery. He received £12,000 in damages before successfully obtaining a divorce. With her social reputation destroyed, Elliot became recognized as a member of the demi-monde and forced to earn her living as a professional mistress or courtesan. She was then taken by her brother to a French convent, but she seems to have been brought back almost immediately by Lord Colmondelet, who became her lover and remained one of her principal protectors throughout her life. <laughs> life in England Having met Lord Colmondelet at the Pantheon in 1776, she began a liaison with him that lasted for three years. Thomas Gainsborough painted a portrait of her in 1778, which is in the Frick Collection at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. In 1782, she had a short, concealed intrigue with the Prince of Wales afterwards George IV and gave birth to a daughter on 30 March 1782, who was baptised at St. Marylebone as Georgiana Augusta Frederica Seymour d. 1813, but used the name Georgina Seymour. Eliot declared that the prince was the father of her child and the Morning Post stated in January 1782 that he admitted responsibility. However, the child was dark in complexion, and when she was first shown to the prince, he is said to have remarked, "...to convince me that this is my girl they must first prove that black is white." The prince and many others regarded Lord Colmondelet as the father of the girl, although the prince's friends said that Charles William Wyndham, brother of Lord Egremont, whom she was thought to resemble, claimed paternity. Yet others thought she might have been fathered by George Selwyn. Lord Colmondelet brought up the girl, and after her early death in 1813, looked after her only child. <laughs> Life in France. French Revolution George, Prince of Wales, introduced her to the French Duke of Orleans in 1784 and by 1786, she had permanently set up residence in Paris and become one of Orleans' recognized mistresses. In exchange for her companionship, the duke granted her a home on the Rue Miromenil and a property in Mutin, to the south of Paris. During this period Eliot also pursued liaisons with the Duke de Fitz James and the Prince of Condé. Much of what is known about Eliot's life in France is recorded in her memoirs, Journal of My Life During the French Revolution. Although there are a number of inconsistencies in her account, her work has become one of the best-known English-language accounts of the Terror, documenting the movements of the Duke of Orleans and those within his aristocratic Jacobin circle at the Palais Royal. During her life in Paris, Eliot witnessed the horror of the September massacres and the body of the Princess de Lamballe carried through the streets. 
Although Eliot was an associate of the Duke of Orleans who later took the name Philippe Egalité her royalist sympathies soon became widely known throughout her district, and her home was frequently searched during the program of domiciliary visits. It has been recently shown that Eliot was trafficking correspondence on behalf of the British government and assisting in the transportation of messages between Paris and members of the exiled French court in Koblenz and in Belgium. On several occasions, Eliot risked her life to assist and hide aristocrats who were being pursued by the revolutionary government. Shortly after the assault on the Tuileries Palace, on 10 August 1792, Eliot hid the injured Marquis de Champsense by physically carrying him to her house on the Rue Miromenil, at great risk. During a search of her home, she placed him between the mattresses of her bed and feigned illness. On another occasion, Eliot agreed to take in and hide Madame de Perigord and her two children at her home in Mutin, who were attempting to flee to England. Eliot was instrumental in arranging false travel documents for those wishing to escape the revolution and after hiding Champsense in the attic of her home in Mutin, she was able to orchestrate his passage out of France. In the spring of 1793 Eliot was arrested and imprisoned and spent the rest of the terror incarcerated at several prisons, including the Recollets and the Carmes, where she claims to have met Josephine de Beauharnais, though this assertion has been questioned by historians. Eliot details her harrowing experiences in prison, the violent coercion she experienced, as well as the illness and deprivation endured by her fellow prisoners. <laughs> Later life Although many of her friends met their deaths, including Madame du Barry, Eliot did not. She narrowly avoided death and was released after the reign of terror came to an end, not before she had been confined in total to four different prisons by the Republican government. In later years, there were rumors that she had an attachment with Napoleon Bonaparte, but had rejected his offer of marriage. She died a wealthy woman at Ville d'Avray, in present-day Hautes de Seine, in May 1823, while a lodger with the commune's mayor, she was buried in Père Lachaise Cemetery. Works Eliot, Grace Dalrymple 2011, 1859, During the Reign of Terror, Journal of My Life During the French Revolution, ISBN 9781230200800 Depictions in film and literature A dramatic portrayal of part of her life is contained in the 2001 film The Lady and the Duke. English actress Lucy Russell played Eliot and Jean-Claude Dreyfus played the Duke of Orleans. Grace Eliot also appears as a major character in Hallie Rubenhold's novel The French Lesson Doubleday, 2016.